Hey YouTube, welcome back to another review. It is time for some uh, Brauerij de Molen. They are out of the Netherlands, of course. Uh, from Bodegraven. Uh, it's been ages since I uh, had my last uh, Molen beer. Um, it's been ages since I last reviewed one. Um, <coughs> Recently, they had their uh, annual Borst uh, Festival, their beer festival, which is a great festival. I could not make it this year, but every uh, year they made uh, make several uh, specials for their festival. And uh, most of the time they turn it into a box. Uh, so this year again. Um, and I was kind of curious, since I not had uh, Brauerij de Bolen beers for several years, I think, uh, and I thought it would be fun to uh, to review them. I'm not going to make any promises. It's a box of 12 beers uh, if I'm going to review all of them, but I will give it a try. This is the first one. Uh, they recently did a restyling of their uh, artwork. I have an opinion about that. I'm not the huge fan uh, of this new style. Uh, as they got rid of the molen that was originally on the label, but what the hell? If the beer's good, I'm not complaining. So this is part of their Borov's uh, 23 uh, special. Um, like I told you, there are 12, and this is a beer uh, with the name uh, Pop and Stoat, which basically means hat and butt. Um, uh, it's a, a rye IPA, six and a half percent, uh, with a blow of juniper, juniper and rye. Um, there is a bit of a story time on the back, I think. Kinda. Uh, magically uniting seemingly incompatible uh, worlds. That's what we do because a contrast uh, expands your mind. It feeds your curiosity and leads to the most surprising flavor combinations. That's what it says on the back of the bottle. The ingredients are uh, water, barley, malt, rye malt, uh, juniper, hops and yeast. That's about it. The best before date is 30.08.24. Uh, uh, That's all I can say. I have an opinion on uh, on the molen. Uh, that's why I not didn't drink them much the last couple of years ago. Uh, I was not blown away when they uh, went macro. Uh, they're in macro now, so. Um, but I'm gonna give it an, another try. Let's see what it's uh, what it's like. So let's open up. Um, nice uh, bottle cap. Um, <clears throat> so like I said, I wanted to review all the 12 beers that are in the box, but I'm not going to make any promises. So let's pour it in a glass and see what it's like. So I, I was not able to make it this year to the festival, which is a shame because it's a great festival. Let me know below the video if you went or if you've ever been to the festival, what your thoughts on the festival are. It looks like an IPA, dark orange, hazy color, uh, with a really beautiful, uh, nice looking uh, white colored hat. It looks looks the part, so let's go to the nose. Mmm, that smells nice. A bit uh, grapey, um, slightly herbal from the juniper. Citrus. Also, the rye gives it a nice uh, herbal touch, of course. Uh, looks the par. Let's have a sip. Cheers. Mm. That is nice. That is nice. Um, just wanted to say uh, this is not sponsored or anything. But uh, it was a really cheap box uh, for 12 beers. I paid um, 
35 euros, I think, 38 euros, which is pretty uh, nice for 12 beers, if you ask me. Um, <clears throat> there are There's only one uh, stout in there, which is, I thought that was kind of a bummer. Uh, there were no barrel aged uh, things in there, which, which is a shame. But uh, for the money, uh, for 12 beers, it's, it's pretty nice. Um, It's got that uh, slightly um, grassy note to it, a slightly herbal, um, very drinkable, uh, nice bitterness at the end. Um, I'm not complaining. This is really nice. It's a nice crusher, if you ask me. Don't expect uh, big, bold flavors uh, like a, uh, a double IPA or anything like that. But um, it is really nice, really solid, pretty uh, uh, malty, uh, um, some citrus, some uh, herbal notes uh, from the juniper and the rye. Um, slightly sticky, but um, for, what was it? Six percent, six and a half percent. It is a nice crusher. If you, yeah, I'm not complaining. No. Um, if you want to know the score, go to my Untapped. You can find me there. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. So, like I said, I wanted to review all the beers from the box. I'm not going to promise anything, but uh, we'll see what happens. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, of course. Um, that's about it for this review. Hopefully, I will see you again soon with another review. Cheers.